hello friends welcome back to cat practice today we are going to make a model of plumber block in autodesk inventor software so let's get started with today's modeling take a new standard part and take a 2d sketch on xy plane take the center point rectangle Take a dimension of 170, tab 11 mm. Okay, 11 will be the height. Now make a line at this point. Similarly here, and take a dimension of 3 mm, and this also 3 mm. Now take the extrude command shoot this profile up to 37 mm and take a symmetric extrude of 37 mm from mid plane ok now select the top face take a new sketch take a circle of dia 56 mm take the project geometry and select this face this will create the uh, reference geometry of this face now take the trim command trim the outer profile so the constraint is broken so give a dimension 43 here and same here ok now take a extrude command and extrude this middle profile by 54 mm ok now take a new 2d sketch on xy plane change the view to wireframe go to sketch take the line command take a line this and this ok now give the dimensions take it as 13 mm this will be 3 mm and this will also be 3 mm take the dimension from center point uh, take it as 22 mm ok now make a mid uh, line change its chart to construction ok now take the mirror profile command select these three profiles and take the mirror profile as the center line and apply done now take a three point arc and join both the profiles and take a radius of 19 mm as we are in uh, construction phase so switch off this and click this and switch off this construction ok now take the extrude command and take a symmetric through extrude cut ok we want to cut this profile ok now change the view back to shaded with edges ok now select the top face and take a new sketch take the circle take it a circle of that animal and dimension from center point will be 31 mm ok take a horizontal constraint ok now we have to mirror this profile so make a middle line for mirror and take the mirror profile select the circle and mirror line will be this apply done take the extrude command select both these profiles and flip the direction and take the through cut ok now take the bottom face and take a sketch 
take a rectangle command and give dimensions 20 uh, take 20 tab 20 similarly for this 20 tab and this will be also 20 ok now take the extrude command select these profiles and we all want to cut this profile so take cut and take a dimension of 8 mm now take the bit plane the xy plane and change the view to wireframe once again and take the rectangle command this time take the two point rectangle give the dimension this dimension will be uh, this project take a point here ok now give the dimension of 10 mm and this will be 4 mm ok the height will be 2 mm ok take the extrude command select this profile ok and take the symmetric and extrude up to 22 mm this will be a cutting profile so take the cut change the view to shaded with edges wireframe is only used for making uh, it sketch for at mid planes now cut this profile so this will be the cut profile Okay. now we have to mirror this so take the mirror and select this face to select the feature or you can select feature from here also take the mid plane and select the exit plane by z plane and click ok so same profile has been mirrored here now go to this face and take a new sketch take a slot command and make a slot take the dimensions this will be oh sorry this will be 6 mm and this dimension will be 10 mm ok now this slot center will be at this 67 mm give the horizontal constraint so at this point in this ok now make a vertical line and mirror this profile like this and take the mirror like this and apply ok done now take the extrude command select both the slots so you don't have to extrude them take a through all cut take the through all and apply ok the slots are made now take the mid, uh, middle plane again change the view to wireframe once again and take line command or ok no issue take the line command and make this profile ok now give this dimension from I will take now give a, so I will take a point here take a point 
and select this okay so it's okay it's not moving give a constraint of vertical constraint from this okay now it will not move so take the dimension of 6 mm as depth and take an angle of 59 degree okay expand this profile and give it a dimension of 20 and this has 3 mm okay now take a revolve command select this profile and select the axis of rotation will be this take the cut and this will be this will make a hole of dia 6 m change the view to shade with the edges and ok this is the cut which we have made so now we will give select these edges take a fillet of radius 6 mm similarly this 6 mm and ok now the next the next thing we are going to do is the, so this is complete you can change its appearance to I'll take mm -hmm. I'll take metal okay and save it make a new folder I make a block will be the name see okay okay I'll save as uh, this will be the casted part so I'll save it as casting ing ok save now take a new standard part in millimeter now we are going to make the cap of the plumber plumber block so take a 2d sketch on xy plane once again make a uh, you will take a center point arc and make an arc take this ok take the horizontal constraint or constraint these two in same line ok now give a dimension of radius 19 mm define so now take the line command make a line of here and here of 13 mm and this and this will be 10 mm and this ok now with the same center take a die of 76 mm ok give this dimension from center as 22 and this dimension will be 43 mm ok now take the horizontal constraint Mm -hmm. what's moving I'll see ok so give it a dimension of 6 mm ok so the it is fully defined now take this take a vertical line till center point change it into construction geometry and now take the trim command trim the axis profiles ok 
and this and this okay this is only this is you need now take the mirror profile select this profiles till here and select the mirror line as this and apply done okay now take the extrude command and take a symmetric extrude of dimension 37 and okay now take I uh, will select the top face and take a sketch and take a die of from center take a die of 86 mm okay click the project geometry select this face and this face take the extrude command so extrude the outer edges this the profiles which are outside the circle uh, uh, you can deselect by taking shift flip the direction as you want to cut this and ok this will provide a radius about the edges ok now take this face take a new sketch take a diameter of 10 mm takes dimension from center point will be 31 mm and take a horizontal constraint select this point this point ok now make a vertical line change it into construction geometry and take the mirror mirror this circle about this line right now okay now go to extrude select these profiles select this and flip the direction and take a through cut okay okay now again take the sketch on this face take the circle command make a circle of diode 24 mm on both of this with same center and take an extrude command so this this so we want to cut so it will flip you have to flip back to upward okay and okay so this will be the cut which we are going which we are making so this is the cut Okay. now take a plane you want to generate a plane on this face so take the plane take the exit plane and select this face okay it will make a tangent plane on this face now take a sketch on this plane take a die of 6 7 and extrude it to depth of 13 mm flip the direction and ok so what's the mistake is we didn't change the this to cut so change it to cut now it will cut the profile ok now select the bottom face of the cut and take a new sketch make a circle of dia 4 mm now take the extrude command and flip the direction to cut it will be a through cut ok so this will be the cut you can have a view by I will change the view I will take a half section view and select this xy plane this is per dia 4 of through all ok go back to this i'll end the sketch and section view ok
go back to this you can hide this now we don't need this anymore so the cap is complete you can give it an appearance i'll take um i'll take it um i'll take it silver i'll take it silver okay so you can take appearance as per your choice as you are making the basic models so now save so i'll save it as a cap okay cap okay now take a new standard part so now we are going to make the bolt we are going to make this bolts take a 2d sketch i'll take the top plane rotate this take a two point center rectangle take the dimension 19.5 tab this will be also 19.5 okay now extrude it to 6 mm okay now select this face take a new sketch take a circle of dia 10 mm and extrude it i'll extrude it up to uh, 90 i'll take it 90 and okay okay so it's 90 okay now what we are going to do is take a cosmetic thread to the thread feature this and give a depth of 25 mm and this will be m10 into 1.5 uh pitch thread and okay select this edge and give a chamfer of 1 into 45 and okay and this will be applied so now rotate this okay now take the center plane the x y plane sketch take a circle of dia 50 you have to constrain it with this point coincident okay take a vertical constraint so like this point and this point okay now make an offset of this take an offset of 10 mm and make a line at suppose this okay i'll take a dimension of this will be 25 mm now trim trim this outer surface okay take one more line here till this And make it constrain this and this. Okay. Now take the trim and trim this profile and this. Now take the revolve. Select this profile. Select axis of rotation on this. We'll take the cut profile and apply. So we'll get this. curve profile on the bolt now what you have to do is this is ready so you can change its appearance i'll give it you can give any sky blue dark i'll give, take this so save save it as bolt 
okay now we are going to make nut and lock nut so take a new take the standard part take a 2d sketch top plane and take a polygon of six sides and and I'll take a dimension of this will be 20 and vertically constrain make a circle at midpoint of dimension 10 extrude it 10 mm symmetric okay now what you have to do is okay this is select the take a 2d sketch and on yz plane change the view to wireframe line command take it 1.5 and set this give it dimension of 1.5 take a line at horizontal and change it to construction mirror this profile so take the mirror command select all this mirror and this apply ok now make a center line ok and change this into construction take the revolve command select both these profiles take axis of rotation will be this and take the cut so ok change the view to shade edges this edges this will provide this cut on both the ends ok so now you can give a thread also you can give a thread internal thread from 10 into 1.25 and ok change its appearance to I'll change it to mm, nickel plated ok so shiny so you can change it to any I'll take it mm -hmm. to colors you can take any orange I'll take ok so this is nut for, for lock nut go to save as and save as this as hello ck nut ok the same part will be saved as lock nut now what we have to do is go to extrude and change its uh, extrude to 6mm only this will be the same it is now lock nut take uh, we will make the inner blocks so take a new standard part in millimeter take a 2d sketch on xy plane now uh, for upper block take the line command and make a profile like this um, go to here same identical profile will be here also ok so give it a dimension this will be of dimension I will not take this will it this give one by one so this will be 6.5 6.5 and this is 7.5 uh, take it 7.5 and this is 22 as this profile is moving so 
select it inside okay select this line this line and give a equal make it horizontal this and this is already horizontal now equal again select this and this equal ok now give a dimension take this as uh, we'll take this as 35 by 2 this will be 38 by 2 and this will be 50 by 2 go to uh, collinea select this and this this for file and this for file ok now go to revolve select this axis of rotation and ok ok now take the mid plane once again xy plane and make a rectangle passing through it and take the extrude command take an extrude symmetric and through cut both sides ok so ok this is the profile take a 2d sketch here take a die of 25 mm and extrude it we need to cut this so we will drag it through ok so this is the through profile cut ok so as we are making the upper block so what we have to do is take a sketch on xz plane take a dia of 6 m and take a vertical constraint this one and take the horizontal constraint from it ok and extrude it pass through it and cut it ok so it's complete ok save as I'll take it as block 1 block one or you can save as upper block ok save it as upper block so change its appearance so go to appearance and I'll take it red so light red ok now save as this part and take uh, bottom block ok this uh, save the time so the in case of bottom block the only difference is we don't need this cut so delete this ok and take a 2d sketch on y x y plane change this view to wireframe from here it will be ok outward I take a rectangle command and give a dimension of 3 mm take a constraint center point and this line ok give a height of from here it will be 23.5 and take the revolve command and revolve change the view to shade the edges but this time we need to have a revolve or x2 so this will remain like this ok you can change its appearance 
to yellow as we have this is the bottom one okay and save it. now as the all child parts are been completed now we will assemble all these take a new standard part in millimeter place uh, I'll go for block select all and open okay and escape you can take them one by one or you can call it them at once take constraint and open the origin of the assembly this is the most important point otherwise whole assembly will be in the float form and nothing will be constrained which will not work for large assemblies take the constraint yz and yz of this xz and xz of this xy and xy and apply so change the view okay this will be the view now take the cap take the free rotation and rotate it change the view to shaded with edges this will show the edges of the profiles take the constraint select this face and face of this we need a gap of 6 mm so take a gap 6 mm and apply so here will be a gap of 6 mm ok now select this center and its center and give it a mate of concentric and apply similar to this and uh, it's moving like this so select this circle and this concentric and apply Okay, now it's not moving this is also fixed now take the bolt free rotation take the constraint concentric so it's center and this and apply select this face and select this face and apply so the bolting is applied so now it's moving the direction for its movement what you can do is you don't should not leave it like this so take this visor plane and xy plane of this and take the constraint it will make it constrained and this will not move now will not move and ok I will do like this ok now apply the nut and lock nut take the constraint concentric and apply similarly this will also be concentric apply this will come upward take the constraint select this face and select bottom face of nut and apply similarly select top face of nut and bottom face of lock nut uh, ok and and apply so this is done now what we have to do is we need these three profiles here also these, these, these three components so take the mirror select these 
nut, lock nut and the bolt and take the mid plane take the mid plane as YZ plane and next and ok so the same profile components are being mirrored here now select these blocks so this is the top block or the upper block the names will be so here this is the upper block so take the free rotation and rotate it okay take constraint select this and concentric mate and apply so it will rotate in this now take the circle this circle uh, oh, oh. and select this circle the inner one apply this will give a concentric mate to both of this and apply so it's constrained now now the lower block similarly do it for this select this axis and it's this axis apply you can uh, take this emboss this and this center and apply so these all are constrained now so this was the model of plumber block in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.